Birds of North America are as diverse as the many different habitats that it possesses. From the west, as far as California, to the prairie pothole region of the Midwest, all the way up north, and down south to Florida. Birds make their home anywhere. Here in North Carolina, from the mountains to the coast, you can see birds of various colors, shapes, and sizes. Bird watching is a great hobby to take up and can be done just about anywhere. But the easiest place to bird is right at home. How to bird at home, a beginner's guide. Here are some tips to make your birding at home experience the best it can be. Tip number one, know where to look. If you have a birdhouse or feeder, start there. Birds are easiest to spot with the naked eye in these habitats. If you don't have these in your yard, no problem. You can always find birds in the bushes, the trees, and even on the roof. When looking for birds in the tree canopy, make sure you look all the way to the top where you can find all sorts of different birds such as the prothonotary warbler you just saw and this white-breasted nuthatch. You can also find towards the top of the canopy bigger predators, better known as birds of prey, such as this red-tailed hawk. Mid canopy to the lower branches of trees and shrubs, you can find a lot of those more common brightly colored songbirds such as Northern Mockingbird, Eastern Bluebird, Northern Cardinal, Prairie Warbler, and the Red-Winged Blackbird. If you look to the ground, you can find all sorts of birds digging for various invertebrates and seeds like this killdeer. Tip number two, when should you look for birds? The earlier in the day you bird, the better. Ever heard of the term, early bird gets the worm? The earlier a bird gets up, the more likely it is to get the needed calories for the day. And boy, do they need a lot. No worries if you aren't an early riser. Later in the afternoon, there will be birds moving around. And if you bird at dusk, you can typically hear these birds of prey at night, owls. Also, depending on time of year, fall, winter, spring, summer, you will find different species of birds due to migration and food abundance. Tip number three, how to find birds. Different tools are important for birders to make birding easier and more fun. The most important tools you can utilize are your eyes and ears, especially when there are a lot of birds around. Use your eyes to spot a bird and take a good long look. Make sure you take note. What color is it? Any interesting markings? And what is the size of the bird? If you can't see it very well, use your ears and listen for its song. During breeding season, spring and summer, songs will be sung to attract mates. During non-breeding season, fall and winter, calls will be the predominant form of communication. And yes, they sound very different depending on species. How to identify a bird once you have seen or heard it can be done using some handy phone applications. A great phone application on how to identify a bird once you have seen it is Merlin from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, which takes you step by step through a bird identification process, asking you questions such as size, color, and location details. More birding applications that are great to download to your phone with either iOS or Android are Audubon, eBird, BirdNet, SongSleuth, or iNaturalist. While binoculars are a great tool, they aren't necessary for you to bird. Much can be done with a phone and your eyes and ears. If interested in using binoculars, make sure they aren't stadium binoculars because it will be hard to focus on a bird in the tree canopy due to their magnification level. Besides seeds, just about any binoculars will work. These are all our tips for birding at home. Please feel free to comment below and let us know what you see from your window. And don't forget, practice makes birding easier over time.